Got to be very accurate with the uh, glaze uh, on the ball, the shine on the ball. And uh, his accuracy has been absolutely brilliant. Uh, he's got that confidence, you know. He's, uh, the way he bowls with the new ball is what he's done so far. 4 for 12 against Dangar. That was a very good spell. He's uh, picked up a few wickets. But he's been economical more than picking up wickets. He's done really well with the new ball to start with. Yeah, he very rarely goes through, goes through a game without making an impact, either with ball or with bat. And um, we've seen that over the course of this tournament. His, his strike rate as a batsman is is over 200. You know, he's very economical with his bowling and, and very difficult. We've seen the majority of runs being scored here are coming against the new ball. You know, anybody that's dished up width or, or any excess length have just been deposited. For the left-hander, he had a slip in place. He's off the mark as well. So both the openers off the mark with those uh, singles. Exactly what you want to do in a big game, uh, just relieve a bit of pressure, get those first runs as an opening batsman. Uh, you know, being an opening batsman, I always was very eager to get those first runs under my belt. Yeah, it's very important just to feel bat and ball. And maybe a little bit of cat and mouse here for the first over. Just looking to try and ease into the game, if you like, and, and take the pressure off the dressing room. Because there will be pressure in the dressing room, no, as, no matter how much Laurie Evans has talked about, you know, dealing with the pressure. There will be pressure on both teams, and it's important that both get off to a very good start. Oh, that's put away. That's a biggie to start with. Fuck maximum. Spagiza. What a strike there. Just down the pad line, picks up the length. What a strike from Luke Ronke. Yeah, beautiful shot there from Luke Ronke. Mohamed Nabi looking to bowl straight as he can and just getting it too straight on that occasion. The ball not swinging. These white balls only really swing and shape for a, a very short uh, period of time. And that one just on his pads and, and Luke Ronke. We know he's a very powerful striker, but when he's got the line he's looking for, this boundary here in Sharjah Stadium is, is never going to be big enough for him. This is the same surface where the first semi-final was played and of course uh, Bulk Legends batting first in that game, scored 235 for 5. So it was a big score, such a good surface to bat on. If you get your eyes in. It's playing in the gap, will be runs here by second that uh, gap between uh, point and shot third man. That's good running as well, ending uh, with two runs. Uh, the first over gone, 10 without loss. So 10 runs and a 6 coming off the first boundary from Mohamed Nabi. And opening at the other end. There's a very dynamic player, Gilbert and Nabe, who's done really well in this tournament. He always seems to find a way to get into the game. Oh, it's actually, they're actually changing the bowling now. Uh, after Tab actually bowling, it looked like Gilbert and Nabe was going to take the new ball, but... Obviously a last minute change, whether that's actually part of the plans from Mohamed Nabi or whether he's decided to change on, on the hoof. I think one man they like to get early is uh, Hazrat Zazai, the way he's batted because uh, he can really uh, get runs in the first six overs in the power play. So probably uh, just uh, thinking otherwise, that's a reason Aftab has been brought in, really pulled very impressively in uh, the Asia Cup as well against uh, top teams in the world. So he's got the knack of picking wickets as a field setting for him. A deep mid-wicket, uh, long on. And uh, near the uh, square leg empire as well. With that headband. His famous headband, uh, Aftab Alam. Slow delivery start where that's put away. Oh, diving in win. That's going to be the four. Fuck four here for Zazai. The first four for him. Yeah, good shot. Too much width on display there. And uh, this again, this boundary, this outfield very quick, the boundary very short, and it doesn't take too much hitting. If it clears that infield and in the power play, it's definitely going to go for four. Actually, just watching Hadratullah here, the, the similarities, I'm sure there have been many similarities to Chris Gale made because he hits sixes. But actually, the way that he bats, the way that he's looking in, in, to, to score in particular areas is very similar to Chris Gale. Clearly, Chris Gale has played a lot more cricket, but actually, the way they go about batting is very, very similar. Got that big 100 versus Nangar. Once again, uh, out of the pitch of the ball, just making room for himself. 
We'll just pick up one more run. I think the big thing about him also, Dougie, is uh, the bat flow, the bat speed. is so tremendous. You see the surface. Looks to be a very good one. This is the same surface where the first semi-final was played. And I think the curator and the ground staff out here have done a great job because, uh, you know, 23rd game, you know, back-to-back, -back, never easy. They just played on two strips, two uh, surfaces out here in the Sharjah ground. And still, the binding is so good on this wicket. You can see the sheen, the famous Sharjah sheen on the wicket. Yeah, it's probably less uh, less of a mirror than it was when the tournament started, but you can still see it's still very shiny. And actually, when you stand on the wicket and, and, and touch the, the grass, the grass is very soft, which generally will tell you that the ball should come on really nicely. It is a phenomenal effort to play 23 matches and still to be producing a pitch like this one. Not timing it too well. That should be taken. Yes, that's the first wicket. Liu Gronki won't be happy. Aftab striking straight away in his first over. Going for the big one. Probably coming from the toe end of the blade. And Liu Gronki, after a bright start in the first over, has got to walk back. Yeah, I think a slow ball there just doing for Luke Gronki, trying to hit it over mid on and very much off the toe of the bat. He'll be very, very disappointed. But very good bowling from Aftab. And a very simple catch at mid on. So unfortunately for Kabul, the first wicket goes. Big player in Ronki. Ronki's gone. Gone for nine of six balls. It's 15 for one. So once again, a promotion for Wayne Parnell coming at number three. He's played a few good knocks uh, coming at number three for the uh, Kabul's one. And he's a good striker, decent player, really can tonk the ball hard. 145 is strike rate so far in the APL, 42 is best. That came at uh, number three. Aftab, of course, striking early. Important wicket. Deep Ronke can be very dangerous with the bat. Another left-hander walks in. So two left-handers out there now, Dougie. Yeah, and that might actually play um, into Bulk Legend's hands. They, they might go an extra over with, uh, with the off spin, trying to beat the outside edge of the bat. We haven't seen any spins so far, but then again, Mohamed Nabi didn't try to spin the ball. Wayne Parnell is, is better than a pinch hitter. He's a very, very dangerous batter up front. Starting with a bouncer. And after showing his intent straight away. Sometimes a difficult thing to do, going in there as a, as, as a bowler who actually hits the ball really hard, because as a coach or a captain, you, you need to get bat on ball. You know that the power play is a very good time to score through the field. You don't always have to be looking to score over the field. Sometimes if you go in there as a, as a pinch hitter, if you like, the, the temptation is to try and get the ball airborne, maybe just a little bit too early. Once again, uh, pick up his head edge there. We'll pick up one more run there. Good stuff from uh, Mireya Sashraf. Does really well. Another man who's been uh, very impressive uh, on the field with the ball. He's picked up some important wickets uh, for his side. Yeah, he's got around the boundary very well. Run a very good angle there. If he'd gone round the, the, the boundary boards, the ball would have probably gone for four. Run a very good angle to pick it up and probably saved an extra run. Good fielding. Just the kind of start you want, especially out of the first over where uh, Mohamed Nabi conceded 10 runs. You go, have got a new wicket, important wicket of Luke Ronke. He can be such a dangerous player up the order. Once again, slow delivery. Good job. Uh, variation of pace. Looking for that single. Just sent back in time. All happening. Two overs gone. 16 for one. So most runs up in the APL, Mama Shahzad, of course, leading the pack, 344. Zazai has a chance of uh, catching up and even crossing it. Laurie Evans, 291. He's done really well with the bat for the Kabul side. And Tom Davis, of course, he can't now uh, add to that. 270 for him. So 
leading our front getters, Mohammad Shahzad. Uh, what a treat when he's on song. Going to be a Mohammad Nabi once again. And a slip in place as well. Now he'll board those off spinners, isn't it, Dougie? Yeah, that's the that's danger of two left-handers at the crease. Nabi can bowl these off spin. And you can see that the ball is gripping a little bit. It hasn't spun massively. But uh, that's the first ball that he's actually tried to spin. And there's certainly been a little bit of an offer there. We saw against the right-handers, he was curving the ball away like an outswinger. But now, of course, his usual stuff, the off spinners, the ball just gripping. He's got to be careful, Wayne Parnell. He's a good striker. He's a, he's a decent bat. Oh, that's struck. Yeah, straight to the fielder. Uh, bit of hesitancy in running in the end all's well. Yeah, good single there. The slight confusion, last ball of the last over and and then there as well. I think this um, this offside field, I think it's um, they're looking to try and squeeze as many singles as possible. Nabi trying to beat the outside edge, edge of the bat. Chris Gill standing at slip, looking for any any mishap. And again, they're looking to try and squeeze these Kabul batsmen for every single run. It would be in his mind, uh, Mohamed Nabi, that uh, even uh, yesterday they scored really well. Uh, Kabul, the way they batted, they came back very well, scoring 192 in the semi-final against the Pakhtia Panthers. They have the depth in batting. Colin Ingram uh, really uh, batted well along with Rashid Khan. So they would like to restrict them under probably um, 170, 160. Because uh, chasing anything over 180, 190 in a final, Dougie, the pressure is different. I think chasing, chasing anything over 140 in a final might be tricky. <laughs> Scoreboard pressure does really strange things to people. Yeah, you're right. That's the reason he opted to bat. Get runs on the board. That's a good strike. Very good effort. That might be referred. But diving there. Just thought probably uh, he's done a very good job out there. Just checking with the uh, third empire. Well, if he's saved a boundary, he's done very, very well. He's made up a lot of ground. He's, he's very wide at long on. And, and so far, that looks pretty good. Excellent fielding. That's uh, Rasuli. Really batted well in the semi-final. Does very good, well there. Good commitment, sliding, diving, and saving some important runs for his side. Looks to be uh, okay at this stage. You see, uh, checking from another angle now. Just pushing uh, the ball in when he uh, slided for that. Probably just checking whether his hand was uh, touching the skirting or not. Yeah, it's a very good effort to that point. Maybe that's that right hand, the right elbow, and just touching the the boundary rope. I think fairly inconclusive from this angle. We can't really tell. But it's, if it is going to be only two runs, well, it's these small margins that make a huge impact in the game. Very good fielding from the youngster. He has done well. Three of us gone. Nine in for one. In fact, uh, singling uh, four as well. So, uh, that's the end of the over. We've got to be uh, Aftab Alam from the uh, other end. The average first inning scores, uh, Dougie, in the APL is 172. So that shows the kind of surface it is throughout. We've had some low scoring games, some high scoring ones, but uh, the average score, 172. You know, they'll certainly be targeting more than 170. If they can get one of these batsmen in established at the crease, they are capable of way more than that. But this, this pitch, even just watching the first three, two or three overs, it looks like the ball's sticking in a bit more than what it has done previously to this point in the tournament and you know pitches they've had a lot of traffic on them and the ball if you do ball into the wicket the ball sometimes comes out slightly different speeds and that may be making it slightly more difficult for the batsman interesting to see the lengths that the bowlers have bowled so far into the wicket trying to target the top of the stumps he's not giving much pace to the batsman he's uh, bowling the slow deliveries those cutters that's exactly what he does very well and the death overs bowls those yorkers aftab alam he's bowled some very good spells for his side the captain having a lot of confidence in his abilities hasn't taken too many wickets two for 14 versus bakhtia against dangar as well two for 26 but he's been economical oh, there we go just slow ball to a bouncer and that's exactly what you need to do as a as a a brave bowler in this format of the game. You need to be 
you need to be showing the batsman that they can't line you up. And that's exactly what Aftab has done there. It's a second bounce. We've seen him bowl, and it's a good one as well. You talk about if you're going to bowl a bouncer, make sure you get it up in between shoulder and head high, and that's exactly what he's done. He's got a man at deep square leg. The final leg inside the circles. That's uh, Chris Gale. Oh, that's a good delivery. Just see the way he alters his length. Very clever. Good stuff here from Aftab Alam. Yeah, like I mentioned a minute or two ago, the danger of playing a pinch hitter is they just can't get bat and ball, which you know, it's all well and good hitting sixes and fours, but if you're not rotating the strike in between, you're going to leave yourself short. It, it may be that the pitch is slightly more difficult than what we, we can see from here, but not making contact is a bit of a cardinal sin from a batsman at this stage. I think just that it does for the side is it adds to the depth of the batting because you have someone, you know, even if he gets out, doesn't matter. But you're right, you know, losing uh, probably on a few deliveries because he's taken his time now, Parnell. Two of ten, exactly uh, what uh, the bulk legends are looking at, just to tie him up initially, stem the floor of runs, not give him easy runs. These are important overs. Remember, the power play in progress, just two fielders out of the circle. Yeah, and the most successful batsmen for Kabul have been the likes of Laurie Evans, Colin Ingram, Rashid Khan. And what you're doing is by playing, Parnell, oh, no, this might be a run out opportunity. Oh, they've got, they've got home. Not, not the best throw from Nabi. Scamper through for a single. After four overs, 22 for one. Mr. Shafiq uh, Stanek Zai, CEO of the Afghanistan Cricket Board, watching the proceedings. <laughs> it's been a great effort by uh, everyone associated with this uh, Gul Bahar Afghanistan Premier League. The first edition, of course, we are uh, in the final game. Big game here. Yeah, Mohamed Nabi has done very well. And I think uh, great thinking as well, uh, Dougie, that he's uh, persisting with himself. Holding his third over now, just seeing both the left-handers out there. Parnell struggling a bit. Very good move here from the captain. Yeah, both left-handers have been under pressure to Nabi. He's just offering a little bit of, out of the surface. And it's very difficult when the ball's spinning away from your outside edge. If he's bowling straight, you have to be taking a chance off the line of your stumps, which he's done in that occasion. And that's gone straight up in the air. And it's going to be a good catch by Nabi. Yes, great catch. And the second wicket. And that's a big wicket as well. Hadra Tula. The danger man in this partnership. I think a lot of dot balls been eaten up and he felt necessary to try and take it on. He wanted to break the shackles because uh, the runs weren't coming. Parnell as well was taking a bit of time, going for the big one, not getting the elevation. And himself doing a very good job there, Mohamed Nabi. Good cotton ball, went high up in the air, never easy under lights. But he's really led from the front. Mohamed Nabi, Hazratullah would be disappointed out for 10. It's 23 for 2 now. So Colin Ingram, he walks in, played a, a brilliant knock uh, yesterday in the semi-final, just coming back into form, such a good uh, fielder as well, 185 runs for him in the APL. Playing in the air, does pretty well on that occasion, Parnell making a move on, that's a maximum, fog maximum, Spagiza. Yeah, that's a very brave shot there from Wayne Parnell, just lost the wicket the ball before. And this time he's actually looking to go with the spin, which is what Hajratullah didn't do. He went across the line of a spin. On that occasion, Parnell getting his hands straight through, straight over mid-off, and a beautiful six straight into the crowd. Exactly how he's got to go about. 
Once again, getting a rough turn. That was the off spinner. Mixes it so nicely. Uh, Mohamed Nabi. That one just gripping the surface, I felt. Yeah, very much gripping in the surface and coming out very slowly as well, which makes it very difficult for these batsmen. I think they, they need to learn from the, the wicket of Hazratullah. And when they're playing spin, it, it's very important, I feel, that they actually go with the spin. They can still hit the ball for four and six, but it makes it difficult if they're going against the line of the spin. What he did on the last occasion was bring the uh, mid on fielder up inside the circle, the long overs back. Once again, very good space. This was the wicket of uh, Hazratullah Zazai. 